everybody. Welcome to Aldersgate and the Joy Factory. We are so glad you joined us tonight. We just wanted to give you guys a couple of tips and tricks to help you guys along the way. The most important thing you need to know is that the video that's about to play will walk you through everything you're gonna experience throughout the night, and the kit that you have will have everything you need to participate in all the activities. So Emily, so what if I like zone out for a little bit, or I'm having so much fun that I want to stay for even longer. That's totally okay. Feel free to pause, rewind, take a break, whatever you need for you and your family to have the best experience possible, you do it. So my favorite thing about VBS is all like the crazy activities. So is there gonna be a mess this year or no? Of course we're gonna get messy, it's VBS. <laughs> When the messy parts come along, feel free to watch how to do it, pause it, go outside, do the mess, come back inside and hop right back on and join us for the rest of the night. So things are kind of looking different. So Emily, how can I have the most fun possible? The way that you have the most fun at home VBS is to participate fully. Go all out, participate in the activities, dance to the dances, all of it and make sure that you share your experience with all of us so we can see how everybody is having fun together. So now that we've provided them a couple of tips and tricks, what's next? Now it's yeah. time to get started. So y'all stand on up and get ready for the first ever at home VBS. Y'all have fun, we're super excited. Come on church, put your hands together. Nothing like your presence I will sing of all your goodness Where all my fears fade to praise Savior, there is nothing like your freedom Dancing with the hope of heaven Where all my fears fade to praise
Mr. Jolly, are you sure that I can't do it by myself? Why, yes, I am sure. You know the first rule of candy making. I know, but I was thinking No that... buts. Zippy and Plumpy are going to help you, and that is final. <sighs> Speaking of Zippy and Plumpy, where are those two Twizzlers anyway? <laughs> hey, oh, hey, Mr. Jolly. Hey, Lolly. Zippy, what are you doing? I'm just enjoying this delicious candy that I definitely didn't steal for Plumpy. That's for sure. <sighs> hey, give me back my candy bar. Uh, you'll have to catch me first, Plumpy. <laughs> boys, boys, boys. Zippy, give Plumpy his candy bar. Now, if you guys don't mind, we are going to start orientation. Sorry. Where was I? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Good evening, Junior Mints. I'm Mr. Jolly, and it brings me great joy to welcome you to the factory. Here you will learn all there is to know about running a successful joy factory. Lolly, what's on the agenda for our Junior Mints today? Yes, sir. Well, today, our Junior Mints are going to travel through the factory and learn how we produce joy. And don't worry, sir, I have gone through myself and made sure all of the safety measures are in place and that everything is working just as it should. Well, it seems like you have this under control. I think I'll head out to the gummy bear fields and see how my crop is coming along. Well, <laughs> you guys heard Mr. Jolly. I'm in charge. Um, no, 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 no absolutely no. not. No. Yeah, no. No. Plumpy, Plumpy's the lead, and I'm, we're, we're the leader. We're in charge. We're the leader. We're in charge. Um, we well, just want to help out. Please. please. Fine. Please. <laughs> okay, please. fine, fine, fine. You guys can help. Why don't you guys take everyone around and show them about the factory? They never let us help. Plumpy, this is great. This is ice cream freezer. It's my favorite one. It's got all the ice cream in it, all the ice cream, and it's all right there, right there. This beautiful machine over here, I call it Rainbow Rush. It takes all the candies, colors them, it sorts them, and works super fast, like so. Ah, it's even faster than me beating Plumpy a race. What? I'm faster. Well. I challenge you to race right now, because I'm the fastest. That makes me the fastest. What? B boys, boys, let's stay focused here, OK? This, Junior Mints, is the joy meter in our factory. And it lets us know when we are running smoothly and perfectly, the sign is lit up. OK, but uh, that's great. But what happens if it? It stays lit all the time, right? There's nothing to worry about. Well, I mean, I I hope it would stay lit all the time because I don't even know what I would do or what I would tell Mr. Jolly if it went out. Oh, well, I'm sure that won't be an issue. It's it's gonna go Everything's great. Everything's gonna be perfect. Everything's gonna work just fine. Yeah. Frozen Forest is great. Yeah, Rainbow Rush good. is great. Everything's gonna stay yeah. on. What could possibly go wrong, right? Yeah, we got it. Right. <laughs> Plumpy, I'm scared of the dark, man. It's okay. It's okay, I've got a light right here. It's okay, it's okay. Is it safe to open my eyes yet? Yeah, dude, it was just the lights. Oh. You uh. guys, the, the, the. Obviously nothing the is factory. wrong. The factory. Yeah, nothing's wrong. Good. You guys, the factory is crazier than you two on a sugar rush. Nothing is working and there's bubbles. What are you talking about? Everything's fine. Oh my Look gosh, at this. I don't think those bubbles are supposed to be there. Rainbow Rush works great. I mean, the lights are yeah, on. Yeah, the lights are on, on, but the, the bubbles. Oh my God, oh my, you guys. That, that may be broken. The joy sign is off. Nothing is working. What are we gonna tell Mr. Jolly? I don't know, we're, we're gonna have to figure this out. Hey guys, you know what? I think stuff's broken around here. Yeah, I think it's broken. Zippy, what are we gonna do? Um, I don't know, let's use our thinking. Yeah, we, go eat some ice got, cream. We got this, we got this. Use your, we, thinking, your yeah, thinking, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, come on, come on. Ah. That's too hard. What's yeah. your idea? I, I'm, I'm digging the ice cream. 
Ice cream? I'm not Why did you say that in the first ice place? Cream. Hey, I'll race you there. I'll okay. race you there. Ah! 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 <sighs> Whoa. Man. What happened? What just happened? Uh. You guys, I think the heater got turned on when the power went out. Oh no. That's why it was so hot. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. You guys- The it, ice cream! It's all gonna melt! It's all gonna melt! We're gonna have to gonna figure melt. out how to whoa, fix this! Whoa, Not whoa. the ice cream! Are you telling me all that ice cream's about to melt? Yeah! No! No! No, no. no. what are we gonna do? What okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. I've got an this. idea. I've got fix an idea. It. Okay, I've got an idea, okay? We're gonna need help, though. Junior Mints, I think we need your help. I've got a really good idea. I was thinking if we could generate enough power Maybe we could turn the heater back that, off. That okay? might that might work. That okay, might Junior work. Mint, I'm gonna need that you to work. stand up. That's right, stand up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump and we're gonna wiggle our arms okay. like crazy. Okay. okay? Yeah. On the yeah. count of three, we're gonna jump yeah, and wiggle, gonna and gonna we're work. gonna use all of our energy. Okay? Ready? One, two, three. <sighs> do it! Jump! <sighs> is it working yet? <sighs> I don't think so. <sighs> but this is hard. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh, no. It's not working. What? Oh. Well, I was having fun. You know what? <laughs> We're gonna have to figure this out. Thanks, Junior Mints, for your help. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go make a plan, you guys. All right, Junior Mints. Head to your station. See if you can help me find a solution for how to fix all this mess. See you in a few. We're gonna fix it.
friends, welcome to the Gang Board. We're so glad that you're joining us today. We're gonna have a whole lot of fun this week playing games. Today is day one of the Game Board. And so you're gonna need two supplies today. You're gonna need your streamers and your ice cream cones. Go ahead, we'll give you a minute to grab your supplies. All right, the first game we're gonna play here in the factory, these are known as the infinite fruit roll-ups. So we're gonna play a game and challenge someone else in your household. You're gonna see who can unroll their streamer the fastest. Are you ready, friends? Yay! All right, let's start the game in three, two, one, go! All right, let's see, we've got the game going. Who's gonna win? Orange won the game! Congratulations, friends. Who won the game at your house? Let us know who won. Now's the fun part, you get to clean up after the game. I know, we make messes, but we gotta clean up too. So make sure you get your game cleaned up and get ready, get your ice cream cones out for the next game we're gonna play. All right, our next game is gonna be an ice cream cone stacking challenge. So you're gonna have one minute to see who can stack the tallest ice cream cone tower. So grab somebody there in your house and play against them and let's see who can win this challenge. All right, friends, are you ready to go? Yeah! Okay, our time will start in three, two, one, go. All right, you're looking good, friends. Let's see who's winning this one. Sometimes it's just getting your tower to actually stay up long enough. Y'all are doing great. Don't give up if things fall over. You can still start over and try again. We've got a little under 30 seconds left. Doing great. About 15 seconds to go. All right, let's see whose tower gets the tallest. Time's up! And it looks like we've got a winner! Yay! So let's see, we've got one, two, three, four. So we have four ice cream cones stacked high. All right, friends, our winner here has four ice cream cones stacked high. Who won at your house? How many ice cream cones did you get? Let us know. We are so glad that you joined us today for day one of the Game Board. So we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Okay, we'll tell you guys a little bit about that later, but just keep that in mind. Okay, um, and we're going to have some activities that go along with this. So a couple of supplies, if you have them at your house, great. If you don't, that's all right too. You can kind of improvise if you need to. Um, first thing you will need is something to write on, like a poster board or a whiteboard, piece of paper. 
um, toilet paper if you're lucky, if you have enough of that at home. Um, and then you can do markers, pens, pencils, whatever you want. Okay. I, I want the blue one. Can I keep the blue one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's mine. Don't lose it. I'm we are it. talking about walking on water, so don't lose okay, it. Okay, okay, we need, okay. Got it. Ready. All right, so here we go. Jesus and his disciples had been around crowds of people for a long time. Now, Jesus wanted to spend a little time alone. Sometimes you really need some alone time. And what he wanted to do was to go pray. And so mm -hmm. that evening, he told his disciples um, to get in the boat and row over to the other side of the lake. You remember what the name of the lake was? Oh yeah, it's the Sea of Galilee. I feel like that's a little bigger than a lake. Okay, Sea of Galilee. Galilee. Yeah, let's, let's compromise there. In the middle, okay. The, middle, yeah. the sea, 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 sea. Oh! Oh. Galilee. There's an echo. Sounds like something important is yeah. to happen there. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I don't know what, but it, it's it's gonna happen. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, the disciples set out in the boat, and Jesus went up to the mountainside to pray. Okay, do you think he just like walked up there? Or... Like on the oh, mountainside? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this guy. Whoa, whoa. Revelant. Whoa. And that's the end of the Bible story. Okay. We're going to keep going a little bit. So Jesus um, didn't like fall on an avalanche? No. Uh, I think that'd be kind of a more fun story. I don't know. It's kind of scary. Oh, okay, okay. So what actually happened? Okay, so um, he's going to the mountainside to pray. The water out in the lake was very rough that day. Whoosh! Okay. And the disciples, they're in the boat. They're having to row really hard. Yeah! Okay. Whoa, 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 you're so, we're talking about a big lake, and so they've been out there for hours, and it was yeah. about 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the morning, so it was really dark. Oh, that's early. And maybe the sun was starting to come up. They'd only made it to the middle of the lake. So, like, so they've been, like, rowing, like, all day, right? right? All, all day. day, all night, no sleep. And they're just in the middle of the lake. That's it. It's a big lake. I remember the, the water was really rough. Okay, so it was like, whoa! <laughs> yes. Jesus had finished praying up on the mountainside. Okay? He looked out on the lake. Wait, hang on. So Jesus looked on the lake. So, and it was dark out. So Jesus had night vision. So he's like, beep, 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 they're rowing. Yes, that's what he saw. He saw them trying to row. Okay. Because okay? at this point, they're really tired. The water's really rough. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, I mean, you can see pretty far out there. Okay. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. Okay. Yeah. Jesus began walking on the water. No, no, no. I think you got it wrong, Sarah. It's water. So, Jesus was actually swimming. You know, he's like, whoosh, 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 whoosh. And he did the wow. Very graceful swimming. There. Well, I mean, it's Jesus, so you're like graceful. Yes, yeah, grace, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I got that. Yeah. Okay. Now, he, he was walking on the water just oh, okay. like so he like, comes down. Do, 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 or you know, maybe maybe he ran. Do you think Jesus ran? <laughs> Stop you right oh, there on that shit. one. Okay. Okay. So, so how do you think the disciples felt when they saw him walking on the water? Um. Well, I mean, I'm seeing Jesus on water, and he's not like swimming. No. He could be hopping. We don't know, Sarah. So maybe I think just a little bitty bit afraid. You are exactly right. Yeah. They were very afraid, actually, because yeah. they didn't realize it was Jesus walking by them. They thought it was a ghost. Ah! Ghost! Just get away! Stay away from my marker! Whoa! Whoa! Okay. All right. You're good. It's all right. We're good. No okay. ghosts here. No ghosts. No ghosts. We're good. Okay. But Jesus heard them and he called out. 
to his friends. Okay, it's my best Jesus voice. Okay. You ready? Like, like, it is I, Jesus. Do not be afraid. Take courage. You know, he might be like part whale. Do you think yeah. Jesus speaks whale? Well? Maybe. I mean, if he walks on water, he's like, oh, be bold. So, yeah. so I don't know if it sounded exactly like that, but okay. what we do know from our story is that Peter could not believe his ears. Yeah, yeah. He's, and he's like, it doesn't sound like a ghost. I, I know that voice. Yeah, so I feel like Jesus was like, yo, Lord, if that really is you, why don't you just like call me onto the shore and I'll like walk with you on the water. Okay, and so what do you think Jesus did when Peter challenged? Well, that was a ghost. Okay. What did he do? What did Jesus do? Yeah, what did Jesus do? Well, I mean, so Peter just asked him, yo, call me onto the water. So Jesus probably went, calm, calm, calm. Now that sounds too ghostly. Okay, maybe, maybe. Try that again. Okay, okay. Calm. Okay, okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll work on it. Okay, yeah. day three. I'll have a perfect God voice. Perfect. <laughs> yes. Okay. Peter got out of the boat, and he too started walking on the water, just like Jesus, just walking. Walking in slow mo. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, but. Peter started looking around, and then, wait, hang on, Peter just like, so like, instead of looking at Jesus, he just like looked around and stopped looking at Jesus? Why did he do that? I don't know, because, remember, late, it's late night, okay. slash early in the morning? Yeah, and there's probably a big storm, right? So he's like walking, like, bum, 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 whoosh, whoosh. Yeah, yeah, scary. Really scary. Yeah. So. Stopped thinking about Jesus and where he was walking to, uh -huh. and instead he was distracted by what was going on around him. Yeah, yeah. And, and then what happened? He began to sink. Ah, I'm sinking! Jesus, help me! Jesus! Oh. You alright? Hang on. Hang on. I'm glad you're not out to see you again. Okay. So Peter's back in the water. Okay, okay. And then he caught Peter. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. And you think Jesus is like, Peter, that was not cool. I mean, I would like push him back into the water. <laughs> Did Jesus do that? No. No? Okay. So then he was like, he like picked him up and he like threw him away. Yeah. No. No? Okay. okay. Maybe let's try a different approach. Maybe, maybe. He was like, do you want to jump on the water with me and had a jumping party on the water? Yeah, yeah. Nope. I can tell you what happened though. Okay. Those are lots of awesome guesses. Maybe I should have wrote the Bible. I don't know. I feel like they're probably a lot wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even have an answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So Peter and Jesus stepped back into the boat. Okay. One that Peter had come out of. Okay. Okay. And the storm immediately stopped. So it was like, woo! Ah, uh, we did now. Yeah. yeah. It's a little bird. Okay. Yeah. It's a big bird. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Okay. Birds were up late. <laughs> <laughs> they were up late. Okay, so everyone saw this miracle. Yeah. Peter walking on the water. Lost his focus. He lost his focus, yes. Started sinking. Jesus saved him. Jesus saved him. They stepped into the boat. They stepped into the boat. The water was calm. The water was calm. And then, if I remember the story, Jesus said, like, hey, Peter, why didn't you have a little faith in me? Just trust in me. Right? He did say that. Yes. Okay. Oh, what a ride. Yes. Mm. Awesome. So, okay. so, the disciples who saw all this, yeah. They worship Jesus. Hallelujah! 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 Very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Excellent Thanks. example. Yeah. So they did this because they knew it was so important to always maintain their faith and their.
their focus on Jesus. So, so let me get this right, okay? Um, I'm so confused. Why do we have to like fix our eyes on Jesus? Okay, so great question. Yeah. Okay. So my junior minutes who are all out there. Okay. Do you guys have any ideas why it's important to keep your focus on Jesus? Okay, think about that. Okay. Hearing some great answers? Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Okay. I think one of them stole my answer. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe you should listen close. Okay. She asked a great question. Okay. The truth is, I'm gonna tell you guys, the truth is, when we fix our eyes on Jesus, he fills us up with with joy. Oh, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. So like when life is crazy, we just like freeze and focus on Jesus. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna calms whatever storm is. Okay, so like when we're like crazy, we're like, ah! we just take a moment, we think about Jesus, then that big storm, like whoosh, just stops. Just stop. Just stops. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that reminds us of what our Bible verse is for the week. Ooh. Ben. Yes, yes. Okay. Remember what it is. Okay. I trained for this moment. Okay. So it's going to be John 15, 11. Right? Uh -huh. This is Jesus talking, okay? And he says, I have told you these things so that you can have the same joy I have. I want your joy to be the fullest joy. Again, John 15, 11. Okay. And I have a hard time remembering that verse. So the main thing you guys need to know as junior mints is that Jesus wants us to have the fullest joy. Yes. Yeah, the big joy. Yeah. Okay. I love it. Yeah. Okay. So just a reminder to everyone who's watching, our story for the day is Jesus and Peter walk on the water together. Okay, or hopping. We don't know. We're going to go with walking. Okay, walking on water. Okay. Walking. Okay. Um, and our main idea for today's lesson is to focus on Jesus. Yeah, it's when life is crazy, we just freeze and focus on God. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Cool. All right. So, kids, I have a secret. Okay. Okay. I like secrets. Okay. All right. And I don't think the workers who are upstairs know our secret. Okay. So we're gonna know something they don't know. Okay. So remember, this candy factory uh -huh. only operates on one thing. Candy. Okay. Good guess, but no. Okay. So sugar. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Or, or a sugar whale. What? So I'm gonna give you a hint. Okay. Okay, so in our, our Bible verse for the week. Okay. Okay. What is it that Jesus fills us with? Uh. It um, rhymes with boy. Rhymes with boy. Soy. Ugh, no. No, okay. <laughs> oh, joy! Yes! Okay, so the factory upstairs runs on joy. Yeah. Yes! Yes? Okay, got it, got it. Candy. Joy. Those two things kind of go together. Okay, so basically what they need to do upstairs is just learn about joy to fix their problems. Yeah. Pretty Very good. Okay. All right. Um, so. You ready for the activity? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, junior mints. This is time for our activity of the day. So grab your poster board, piece of paper, toilet paper. Don't waste your last toilet paper on this activity, guys. Anyway, grab a sheet of paper. Grab your marker, mine is blue, remember? Blue. And you guys are gonna have 60 seconds. That is one minute. Uno minuto. I don't speak Spanish. Maybe you can teach me Spanish later. But you guys are gonna have one minute to draw the entire Bible story. Are you up for it, Sarah? Let's do it. Awesome, there's your paper. What color would you like? Red, please. Red, awesome, awesome. So we are gonna have 60 seconds to draw the entire Bible story. We'll do it with you guys and we'll compare. All right. On y'all's marks, get set, draw. I'm gonna beat you, Hazel. All right, guys, you got 45 seconds.
You got 30 seconds, guys. Ah! <laughs> you got 20 seconds. Okay, so we got number one, Jesus, he has a halo, because hey. son of God. You got- He was on a mountain close to God. Okay, that's a hill. <laughs> um, there's a storm, wah, wah, right? And then we have Jesus hopping on water, I guess walking, we call him that. Third, now you got, is that Peter? Yeah, Peter and him walking on water. Then Peter's drowning! And then they make it to the boat. So I, I broke it down to five parts. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> Awesome. I, I went Old Testament and New Testament. I think I'll give that one to you. I think Sarah won this one. Make sure you guys share uh, your pictures either of the Bible or the Bible story on our Facebook page, uh, and then we'll comment as we go on. Yep. But that is it for today's Bible stories. All right, Sarah? We will be back tomorrow with the Aldersgate Joy Factory for lesson number two. See y'all. Bye. Welcome to the What's a Doodle Exploration Station! Hi, I'm Beaker. And I'm Jeepers. And we're here to learn about science. Woo! Woo! Today, okay. we are going to make oobleck. Can you say it? Oobleck. No. Oobleck. Everybody say it with me. Oobleck. There you go. <laughs> It might just be the grossest, slimiest, um, most awesome thing we've ever made. Okay, so you're gonna need... So your ingredients, which you should have gotten in your VBS kit. So you're gonna grab your... Cornstarch. It's the white powdery stuff. How much do we need of that? Um, we need one and a half cups of cornstarch. Awesome. Okay, and then we need <gasps> water. Okay, and how much? One cup of water. All okay. right, so get all your stuff and we're gonna make it together. You ready? So I'm going to pour my one cup of water in the, my magical science measuring cup. And I'm going to measure my one and a half cups of cornstarch. Okay. All right. Now, pour the water in. Here we go. We're gonna stir oh. it up. It's magic, y'all. It's goopy and yucky. Okay. <gasps> if it's too runny, you can add more cornstarch to get it nice and oobleky. Because you want it to be the what? The grossest, the, the slimiest, slimiest, so it's the most awesomest. So I'm gonna add some more cornstarch to ours because it's a little runny. Jeeper, you are so good at that. Well, you know, sometimes I try. It's those mad science skills. Yes. 
So here awesome. we go. Awesome. Stirring it up all together. Let's add a little bit more cornstarch or a lot of bit more. And that's the cool thing about science. You get to experiment and make different things so that you can make it work. You are using your great science brain, Jeeper. You know, I like all this science stuff, Beaker. Okay, here we go. Is it slimy yet? Ooh. Ooh. Look how slimy and gross it is. Ooh. Okay, so this is how it should look. When you hold it in your hand, look. It <gasps> runs, but when I touch it, it's hard. Why do you think that's so important, Jeeper? Because um, whenever, think, whenever we just let our lives run free and crazy and there's no one to guide us, look what happens. It just makes a mess everywhere. It's a mess. It's everywhere. Yeah. But when we have God in our lives to direct us and keep us firm. And focused. And focused. Looky there, see? <sighs> then it's not a mess, even though my hands are really messy. Yeah, because when we're focused and we're all together, the Lord helps us and guides our steps. How cool is that? That's really cool. That's one of the neatest science experiments ever. Yeah. All right, guys, so we hope you had fun at the What's, What's a Doodle, Doodle Exploration, Exploration Station. Station. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Come on, church, put your hands together. Come on, one voice, let's sing this out. Nothing like your presence I will sing of all your goodness Where all my fears fade to praise Savior, there is nothing like your freedom Dancing with the hope of heaven Where all my fears fade to praise
Hey, Plumpy, does something seem odd to you out here? Yeah, just a little bit. It doesn't look right. Yeah, just a little bit. What? Oh, oh, Plumpy, I got it. Hey, oh, God. this wasn't here before. Right there. Good there job. Oh, here, my. Good as new. Okay, yeah, you guys, I've got a plan. I think if we like flip that thing over and then um, maybe jump over that doodad what? and then um, what? twist what? around Wally three okay? times and we'll we, We've got a plan. What? what? You guys got a plan? Yeah, we always have a plan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. guys. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. got it. You got a plan. What's the plan? plan? So, the plan is, this is a slingshot. Oh my goodness. And running wasn't fast enough, but what's faster than running? Slingshotting? Exactly. <laughs> okay, you're, you're gonna get, okay. This is gonna be awesome. Let's do so it. So awesome, yeah. just trust me on this lolly. So on the count of three, blast off, I'm gonna go, all right? Okay. You just hold on yeah. tight. All right, three, two, one, blast off, yes! You guys, I have an idea. Awesome. I have an idea that might work. I mean, that didn't work, yeah. but it was cool. It was cool. <laughs> You're right, but I think I have an idea that might work, okay? Okay. So let's open up my blueprint. I got I got this blueprint here of um, Whoa, this Freezer Forest. This yeah, thing, it's got. This thing is huge. Yeah, keep going. I, I had a bigger one. That's fine. Wait, there's a bigger there's, one than this? Bigger there's a bigger one, one than this. Oh okay. God. So you guys see this little squiggly line? Oh, yeah, and that's see that? called a squiggly doodadders. Yeah. No. Squiggly line. No. <laughs> this is a motion detector. So every time we try to run in to freezer forest and turn off the heater, that motion detector is blowing oh. us back. I hear that. It's basically the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what we need to do is get in there and turn it off. How are we going to do, we gonna do that? that? Okay, so our junior mints learned in their confectionery station about Peter and this really cool thing Peter did. He did the impossible, okay? Okay. He focused on Jesus. When he focused on Jesus, he was still, he froze, and he was able to walk on water. Whoa! Whoa. I know, yeah. right? So I was thinking if we kind of did what Peter did with Jesus. Wait, and just, you gotta walk on water? What? <laughs> no, we're not gonna walk oh. on water. We're gonna focus, we're gonna freeze, and stay focused, okay? And then I'm gonna sneak in there and turn off the heater, okay? Okay. 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 All right, Got so it. on the count of three. Hold on, hold on, we're gonna have to freeze. I need to shake it off. All right, all right, okay, okay, I feel that too. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, you ready? You ready? Okay, 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 okay. ready? Three, two, one, freeze. I got it! It worked! We did it! Great job, guys! You nailed it! That was perfect! I can't believe it worked! That is great! Uh, oh no. Let's see. Oh no, you guys. Mr. Jolly is calling. Don't say, don't say anything, okay? We got it. We're good. We're good. We're good. I don't know what's... Okay. Hey, Mr. Jolly. <laughs> How's it going? Well, it could be going a little better. I'm calling because the gummy bear fields are not going according to plan. I'll have to stay the night and try to fix it in the morning. How's the factory going? Oh, oh you know, every, everything's great over yeah. here. It's going really good, you know. Bear, everything's wait. great. I thought things were going horribly. They are going horribly. Wait, what? what was that, Zippy? Uh, I said... Things are so awesome. They're just like going really off, like more awesome than the awesomer most thing ever. They're just good. Glad to hear it. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye for now. Bye, Mr. Jolly. Oh, I I <laughs> that was really scary. You guys did great though. Good. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Junior Mints, for all your help today. We're gonna wrap it up, and we will see you tomorrow. We cannot wait. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.